Well, I've, uh, I got home from iCast, immediately got a cold within like a day of getting home. Fought it for a few days, but it just absolutely annihilated me on Friday. It is now Tuesday. I still feel like but I am feeling well enough to get out and take the boat for a spin since I have charters all day tomorrow. Thought I'd come out and see if I can't jig up a few leg trout. I might even try a little bit of trolling, see if I can't put a salmon on the boat briefly. I'm not planning on keeping any fish today. Hopefully I don't have to, but be a nice boat ride anyway. A nice break after the million degree hot stretch that we just came off of. Which was fun being sick for, so I don't know, hopefully. Well, if you're watching this, I caught fish, so I guess there's that. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm in an area, I'm on Lake Winnipesaukee, and uh, I'm in a pretty popular area. Um, very well known community fishing pole. So before anybody goes accusing me of spot burning or anything like that, uh, if you know where I am, then you already know where I am. Um, I'm not really giving much away here. I won't say it by name, but if you know where I am, then you'll know the spot. Okay, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna troll along some drop-offs. Thermocline right now is, uh, is probably right around 40 feet. It's, you know, moves up and down a little bit, but it's afternoon. The trolling bite typically isn't the best, but we've had cloud cover and we had some weather just moving out, so maybe I can get a few fish to bite. I'm gonna troll off of this drop-off. Sometime when we come off the edge of this drop-off, we'll catch some fish, and then I'm gonna try to stick in around 50 feet along the edge of the drop off and just gonna troll. I have a, a trolling plate mounted to the back of my motor. I can pull this handle, pull that handle there. That plate drops down. I'm just gonna bump it into reverse just to get it to lock in because it doesn't always lock in for me because I bent it last year. I uh, didn't have all the springs on it last summer and I gave it a little too much gas and bent the plate thought it had uh, come back up. So I'm gonna just kick us into gear here about a mile and a half an hour and get the downriggers out. And I'm gonna troll for a little while. I don't know how long, but and eventually I'm gonna troll over this deep hole that has been holding these lake trout. And hopefully uh, in another couple of hours, I'm gonna be able to jig up some lake trout. So again, if you're watching this, then uh, I caught fish. We'll see. Lines down about 40 feet. Going about 1.8 miles an hour. See what kind of trouble we can get into. 
really isn't the ideal time of day to be out here trolling. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but it's better than noon. We've had two days of rain or a day and a half of rain. Rain all day yesterday. Just poured all night long. Oh, there's a rod going off. Nothing on it. So it was, it was really kind of too early in my opinion to be out here trolling for salmon three o'clock in the afternoon the sun had just come out it wasn't uh, wasn't ideal conditions so I bagged it and I am gonna try jigging for lake trout because there seems to be no shortage of them on the bottom right now Let's see if I can't get a little POV footage for you and uh, I don't know Try to remember what it feels like to catch a fish. It's been a while. We'll see. Got the uh, little nervous minnow. Marking some fish on the bottom. Drop it down there and see if we can't get one to bite. Fish in 111 feet of water. I found this, this nervous minnow has a tendency to foul, meaning the, on the fall the jig will flip up and it will hook the line. On there. Fish looking already. So I'm I'm careful about how much free fall I let I allow in the jig when I'm when I'm jigging because I don't want to foul running through the water. It's time consuming to keep reeling in and Back down. It's still a little early in the day. It's you know 4:15. You know, really, another couple hours before I would expect this bike to really turn on. But it's fishing, and you never know. Some days the fish surprise me. All, kind of, all that interference is bubbles coming off of my braid. I don't know if you can see that on the fish finder screen, but that air bubbles that will all clear out here pretty soon. Alright, so I'm starting to mark quite a few fish 25 to 35 feet down. And the lake trout aren't really cooperating just yet. So I'm gonna go back to trolling for maybe an hour. See if I can't pick up a salmon. down 25 and 35 feet. I run about two miles an hour. Let's see what happens. 
Well, this is not a big fish, but we had something. Finally, hit the downrigger. Got a little bit of wind and some clouds and the sun's starting to get low in the sky. Oh, this feels like it might be a salmon. Salmon or a rainbow. Oh, this is a better fish than I thought. Yeah, it could be a lake trout, but this one was this line was down 35 feet. Here comes the, the real trick to see if I can net this fish. If it's a salmon and it starts jumping, they have a lot of times they'll jump right off. I can't get them netted. So it could be a lake trout staying down pretty good. like a laker. Pretty good fish. Smile while I reel in this fish. It's not a huge fish. It's not dead. It does not want to come up. Clicker driving anybody crazy yet? I'm sure there'll be comments about it. There it is. It's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. That is a really nice fish. That's actually a salmon. Nice salmon. That is strange that that fish did not want to go down. Get that hook out of it. Get a picture and get it back in the water because I'm not keeping it. I hope. I don't want to keep it. I don't want to kill it. fishing wasn't spectacular but uh, I got one nice salmon, a couple lake trout, one on camera, small lake trout. Uh, jig bite just wasn't what I was hoping it would be this afternoon but that's kind of the way the evenings are. They're, they're a little more uh, or a little less predictable than the morning bites are. Morning bites are usually even if it's only an hour you're, you're definitely going to get a good bite in the morning. Uh, so you know uh, it was fun to be out here. The sun is setting behind me. I'm gonna head in. I have uh, two charters tomorrow, so I'll be on the water all day. Looking forward to that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to 
uh, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind I'd appreciate that and uh, we'll see you on the next one